Hello dear students. In this tutorial, you are going to learn about currency convertibility. You will understand what is current account convertibility and what is capital account convertibility. Let's begin with the meaning of convertibility of currency. Convertibility of currency means changing or converting the currency of a country into foreign currency at market determined rate of exchange. Now you note the words market determined rate of exchange. Now market determined rate of exchange means that rate which is determined by the demand and supply of foreign currencies in the foreign exchange market. There is no intervention of government in fixing the rate of exchange. When you say convertibility of rupee, it means those who have foreign exchange in hands for example, US dollar, Japanese yen, they can get them converted into rupee and vice versa at the market determined rate of exchange. Now, the pertinent question here is why there is need for converting currency? Well, in foreign trade and in basement, you will come to know about various transactions that take place right from import and exports of merchandise goods and services, then remittances of money, their transfer payments, then inflows of capital, outflows of capital. So all this translated into some receipts and payments of foreign currency. Now this foreign currency, say, an exporter has earned the exporter then need to convert it into domestic currency then only the exporter can put the money for further investment or for export production in the country in the reverse way in case of the importer the importer need to purchase or the importer need to import various maybe material or maybe some machinery goods or maybe some other thing now the importer need to make the payment in foreign currency. So where the importer will convert the money, the importer need to convert the money from the authorized dealer. But the conversion is not so easy, or it is not that um, it is uh, it, it is not that it was uh, a situation when government or the monetary authority that is reserve bank of india used to regulate it but once india adopted that new reform or economic reform what we call that is liberalization privatization and globalization policy or economy and after that the economy is taking steps for opening the economy means they want to have more transaction with the other countries of the world so now they are in more demand of foreign currencies or other countries who are participating with india those countries are in demand of our currency so there is a need of converting the currency now as we already discussed that various transaction take place that is import export inflows of capital outflows of capital so in all this transaction the conversion of currency is necessary now those transaction if you study the balance of payment account there you will find that this transaction are classified mainly into two categories one is current account transaction and the other is capital account transaction Current account transaction, it includes all the imports and exports of merchandise goods, then invisibles, so invisibles that means the services. It also includes the payments or remittances of money. Then the capital account transaction, this mainly includes the inflows of capital and outflows of capital, say for indirect investment then uh, portfolio investment so these are included in capital account transaction now the convertibility of currency in context of current account transaction are called current account convertibility 
and convertibility of currency in context of capital account transaction are called capital account convertibility so convertibility is about allowing the domestic currency to freely convert into foreign currency if the convertibility is allowed at the market determined rate with a limit then it is called partial convertibility whereas if it is allowed without any limit it is called fully convertible current account convertibility means when foreign exchange foreign currency for example us dollar uk pound sterling etc receive for export of merchandise and services they can be freely converted into indian rupee and vice versa in case of imports after india adopted economic reforms in 1991 india made its currency that is rupee partially convertible from march 1992 under the liberalized exchange rate management system so that was a 60 40 now what is that 60 40 so 60% of the foreign exchange or the foreign currency are allowed to convert into rupee at market determined rate whereas the rest 40% need to be surrendered to reserve bank of india and that will be exchange in the officially fixed exchange rate so that time it was only partially convertible now india adopted this step because that time the state of economy with that state of economy the country was not confident to allow 100% convertibility in current account india at that time india had a very large deficit balance of payment and therefore they were not allowing full convertibility in current account transaction but later in march 1993 rupee was made convertible for all trade in merchandise so that is full current account convertibility now there are some advantages of current account convertibility now as we already discussed that after 1990s or 1991 as india adopted the liberalization privatization and globalization policy that means the india bowed to open its economy so it reaps some benefit now what are the benefits or what are the advantages number 1 current account convertibility it promote export how when exporters earn more because of exchanging the foreign currency at market determined rate they are encouraged to do more export so already this we discussed that market determined rate it used to be usually higher than the officially fixed rate of exchange number 2 import substitution unlike exporters importers hesitated to convert rupee into foreign currency since they will get less rupee because of the market determined rate while converting the foreign currency and therefore there is possibility of import substitution that means earlier whatever they imported now they try to produce in the country so that is import substitution and this result into less flow of foreign currency from our country means there will be less outflow of foreign currency from our country reduce hawala money the illegal and unauthorized system of remittances by non resident indians will be discouraged since they can easily remit money to india and it will help to improve balance of payment of the country current account convertibility another benefit is it act as a self correcting mechanism 
deficit in balance of payment because of current account transaction get automatically corrected if current account convertibility prevails. It means if the deficit balance of payment persists for a while in the economy, the rupee value go down. And when the rupee value get down, that means when the domestic currency value get down, the export produces that become cheaper and as a result export grows or export increases and once the country able to make more export then foreign exchange will be earned so this is what we are saying as self-correcting mechanism or self-adjustment mechanism now capital account convertibility is the freedom to convert local financial assets into foreign financial assets at market determined exchange rates. In India, full convertibility of capital account is still not allowed. There are limits on investment by foreign financial investors and also caps on foreign direct investment selling in most sectors. The advantages of capital account convertibility it increases mobility of capital. Capital account convertibility contribute easy mobility of capital. That is that mobility that means the inflows and outflows of capital. And this helps the domestic firm to source their capital easily. Another advantage is that easy investment in abroad. Domestic individual investors as well as institutional investor, they can easily invest in abroad. This is another benefit of capital account convertibility. Now, although the country has made full current account convertibility, the country is yet to allow 100% capital account convertibility there is continuous debate on um, this 100% convertibility in capital account. There are many doubts and some of the arguments against capital account convertibility are like high volatility of market. So volatility means frequent fluctuations or the market become unstable. The way capital comes in easily into a Florence economy, the same way there is a possibility that that capital go out or fly easily from economy if the situation reversed. So frequent flow that is inflow or outflow of capital not only affect the domestic currency value but it affect the health of the business firms and brings instability in the economy as a whole. Another doubt or another argument is it increase payments and which adversely impact the current account balances. Although high capital inflow to the country is considered good, it again increases the payments which impact the current account balances. And so there is a possibility that it increase the deficit balance of payment in the balance of payment account so again that is a factor which contribute for instability in the economy so all these are relating to currency convertibility current account convertibility and capital account convertibility so with this i am concluding here thank you